everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I will be giving you my 27 week pregnancy update. I do post pregnancy updates every week on Saturdays. So if you're not already subscribed, definitely go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I will also have the entire pregnancy playlist listed down in the description box below in case you want to get caught up. So this week, baby girl is about the size of a bunch of bananas. And I feel like I have really grown a lot this week. I feel like she has actually gone through a growth spurt. So over these past few weeks, I have been having difficulty sleeping. I've had a lot of insomnia and my sleeping patterns have been really, really off. So I don't know if that has something to do with her growing. I feel like every time I feel like that over a longer period of time, I kind of grow in inches in my belly and she seems a lot bigger in comparison with the fruit. So I'm not really sure if that has anything to do with it, but over the past few weeks, I have noticed that I have felt a little bit more tired and I've been napping. I've been waking up in the middle of the night and not been able to go back to sleep. And that has been pretty much the same this week as well. So again, my weight gain has been pretty consistent. I'm not too concerned with anything. I am right on track. So up to this point, I have gained a total of 19 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy. So I think in the first trimester, I only gained about two pounds. So all of this extra weight has really come on during the second trimester. And this week is exciting because it's the last week of my second trimester. So exciting. So so this is just such a huge, huge deal because we had our miscarriage before and now we are finally about to enter our third trimester and it's so exciting. Thank you so much to those of you who have been on this journey, especially since our miscarriage. That was just such a really difficult time for us and the fact that we are now expecting our sweet baby girl in March is it's just so exciting and I, I am so incredibly grateful. All right, so this week, as far as my cravings go, I really wanted a lot of salty foods this week. So I was really feeling mashed potatoes again, just like I was in my first trimester, and then salty foods as well, like chips or cheese and crackers, things like that. I really was enjoying this week. As far as symptoms go, I really didn't have a whole lot of symptoms at all this week besides the sleeping patterns kind of being off, so I was kind of tired. And then I did have a lot of really vivid dreams this week, so everything just felt really realistic to me and I just, all of my dreams were very, very vivid. I could remember them very well when I woke up. And so I'm sure that that with the sleeping patterns, everything ties into one. It seems like I am getting into the REM sleep, but I'm not ever going into a really deep sleep, I guess. And I'm not sleeping for long periods of time. So then I end up taking a nap during the day and everything just kind of is thrown off. So I'm hoping that will regulate itself here soon. One thing that's contributing to a lot of my sleep deprivation also is that baby girl is kicking so much when I lay down to go to bed at night. So I don't know what it is, but the moment that I lay down to go to bed, she is just, she is awake and kicking. So this has not changed. If you watched last week's update, you know that it's been happening for a while now, but she'll kind of kick into my sides, depending on whatever side I'm laying on, and it's been just really hard to get comfortable. I do have a pregnancy pillow, but I don't really ever use it because it just makes me so hot. If you guys have any really wonderful pregnancy pillows that don't make you hot at night, that are comfortable and just kind of keep you supported, definitely let me know in the comments because I would love to find a pregnancy pillow, especially as this last trimester approaches, that makes me feel really comfortable and able to sleep during the nighttime because my pregnancy pillow, I had ordered it off of Amazon. Amazon. It's one of the big ones that's kind of U-shaped and not only is it hot, but it also hurts my neck at night. So it props me up too much to where my neck really hurts. And then because my neck is so tense in the morning, I always have a headache whenever I use it. So I don't like that. And so I'm really looking for some other type of pregnancy pillow that doesn't make me hot at night and that doesn't hurt my neck or prop me up too high during the nighttime. So prior to pregnancy, just so you guys know, I was pretty much a stomach sleeper and most of the time I never used a pillow. So I just find that our bed is such good quality that it aligns my spine perfectly when I'm not using a pillow, particularly when I'm on my stomach. But if I was sleeping on my side, I would just have a thin pillow there. So it kind of kept everything nice and level. It didn't prop my neck up too high, if that makes sense. I love our bed, by the way, you guys. We have the Lull mattress and it is amazing. So, so nice. 
So our bed is definitely comfortable. I just can't get comfortable with the pregnancy pillow and you know, just kind of laying on my side when I'm used to sleeping on my stomach. But anyway, that's just how I slept before I got pregnant. So a couple of things have happened this week that I want to share. So first of all, we reached our second viability milestone, which is so exciting. So if baby girl was born right now, she would have a 90% chance of surviving. And so that is just, oh, that just makes me feel so good. So we are past that really critical stage of her not you know, being developed enough, and now she would be pretty much developed enough to be able to survive outside of the womb. So thank goodness for that, that is huge. And then I also caught some of her movements on camera, finally. She is so funny. So it seems like every time she's kicking and moving and I go to grab my phone or camera and record, she stops moving. And it's the same with when Chaz tries to feel her movements as well. She'll be kicking like crazy. And then as soon as I'm like, hey babe, come put your hand on my stomach, she stops and I'm like, man, you know? So I was excited to catch just a little bit of her kicking on camera and I'll go ahead and insert that now so that you guys can see. You have to look really closely because it's not very much that I was able to catch because of course she wasn't moving that much when I was trying to actually record her. So I'm hoping that I will be able to catch a little bit more as she gets bigger. But anyway, I just thought it was exciting that you can kind of see a little bit of it on camera. And then the last thing about week 27 was that I went and had some lab work done on Tuesday. I had the glucose test done, and that's basically where they test for gestational diabetes. They also gave me an antibody screen, and then they also were checking my just different levels of things like iron and just different things in my blood. So I will get the results for those when I go and see my doctor on Friday. So now I'm gonna jump over to my Ovia app and let you guys know a little bit about what baby's development is like this week. So it says her brain is continuing to develop at a rapid pace. So it's helping her to control her own body and movements. It is now showing electrical activity. It can control her lungs and even regulate her body temperature, which is new this week. So she is about 15 inches long when she's all stretched out, but of course they curl up in the womb. So it would be hard to see that she was actually that long because they curl their legs up. And then cochlea have developed in baby's ears. So that is contributing to her sense of hearing. So that's pretty much all for week 27. Let's go ahead and jump on over to my 27 week belly shot. All right, so here's my belly from the front and from the side. So again, I feel like I have really grown a lot over these past few weeks, really. And this week it looks like I'm measuring at about 38 inches, which is about a fourth of an inch larger than last week. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss next week's update on Saturday. And then again, we are doing Vlogmas as well, so we are doing daily videos throughout the month of December. I would love to have you join us, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.